Hello and welcome, I'm Chris and this is the Hair Tutorial Channel and on this video I'm going to be walking you through a graduated bob. This simple technique is really going to help you out whether you're new to hairdressing or simply want a faster version of doing it. And don't forget if you're new to the channel to like, subscribe and hit the notification button for weekly videos. And I'd like to thank today's sponsor Yoi Scissors with a large selection of premium scissors available on their website. And today I'm going to be using the Oi Sakura scissors. And I'd like to thank Oi Sakura scissors. These high quality scissors are made with the same steel and manufacturing technique as Japanese scissors, but a more competitive price. Take a triangular section from the occipital bone down to just behind the ear. Then from the occipital bone down to the nape of the neck, take a central guide section. Now you have your central guide. This is where you're going to decide on your elevation. Ideally, an angle of 45 degrees. If the section is too large, you can split the section, either working from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom. Try to make sure that the section pulls out straight from the occipital bone and you angle your fingers at 45 degrees. Decide on the length that you want and cut in your guide. Remember to pull the hair straight out of the head. But follow your guide down into the nape of the neck. Now you have your guide and we're going to be using this central point to radiate from. Imagine it like taking a slice of cake. Keep your sections so that you're able to see your guide. Now in this graduation we're going to be over directing this section back to our previous section, in this case, our central guide. As you do this, try to turn your fingers down towards the ground. This will help with the angle of graduation. If you're struggling and turning your fingers towards you to be able to see your guide, this will reverse the direction of graduation, causing more flaws later on. Once again, you can either work from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom. Pull your section out and over direct it back to your previous guide. Once again, follow it down. From our central point, take another section. Now we are going to over direct back, not to our central guide, but just to our previous section. After just three sections, you will see that your graduation is beginning to form. Continue to take small, neat sections over directing back to your previous section. And again, where possible, bevel your fingers down towards the ground. Now you have your one side cut in, you need to repeat this on the other side. You're gonna change the position of your fingers. We're on the left hand side of the head. Your knuckles were at the base and your tips were at the top. You'll find it much easier to turn your fingers around the other way, meaning your knuckles are at the top and your fingers are at the bottom. You're still going to maintain your angle and you're still gonna be pivoting from this central point and over directing back to your previous section. With our first side clipped out of the way and our central guide refound, now we will hold our fingers, our knuckles at the top and our fingers pointed down, over directing back to the previous section and once again angling our fingers down towards the ground. continue through the rest of the section. Now with this section in, basically the hard work is actually done. We can now basically take forward diagonal sections and work through the rest of the haircut. Now it's optional whether you work through one side and then the other. However, for balance, I like to work on one side and then the other, one side 
and then the other. This keeps me moving around the head and keeps the balance of the haircut right. Remember to keep your section small and manageable. Now we have the basis of the graduation cut. We're simply going to elevate. All sections will now be pulled out in line with the occipital bone and our fingers directed down towards the floor. We'll maintain the forward diagonal sectioning and the 45 degree elevation as we go down and as we move forward. As you come higher to the crown, you may want to alter to the wide tooth of your comb to allow for jump on the crown. Or you may simply want to decrease the tension that you apply to the section. Remember, I'm pulling everything down in line with this occipital bone and pivoting my fingers down towards the floor. I have now reached the crown. Once I've reached the crown, I will continue to take forward diagonal sections. However, there's no more hair to go into the back and my main concentration will be on following my angle down through the front. Once your cut is completed, we're now gonna blow dry. To do this, I'm gonna be using what I call a wrap technique. The great thing about graduation is the cut will do the majority of the work on the blow dry. Simply by wrapping the hair backwards and forwards in multiple directions, the shape of the head and the graduation will cause it to lay in place. Once dried, it's simply an issue of going around, checking your perimeter and tailoring to your client's specific needs or removing any slight bits of graduation, thinning out and texturizing to give you the finished result that you desire.